Okay. That didn't take long. On the area where you fight the boss, you go up and around, but instead of going where the upstairs is, go to the downstairs one. If you do, then you'll find up here, which, as I find out, has some scary Zelda music in it. That doesn't bode well for me. Well, let's go in. Oh no, Ice Temple. Ice Palace, whatever. Shadows. I don't think I'm gonna like these guys very much. And why is every enemy I'm facing now dark-based? I can't really use dark skills if I don't ever have the opportunity to um, fight enemies that aren't dark. Well, they don't look too hard to kill, at least. I'm totally okay. I'm totally okay with this. Let's see. Four shadows, okay. Fair enough. I keep thinking that there's something, some secret to these things, like if they have an instant death attack or something. Odds are I'm probably wrong on that, but... Because that'd be a little too obvious, but... Ugh, the, the fear still... Oh, true, though. So I am hating how every dungeon now is like, of course, sort of like a labyrinth. It does not help when I'm trying to record. Granted, I don't think he made this with the intention of anyone was playing it, but still. Ugh. These types of areas always annoy me. Mostly because I have a bad I have bad memory problems, so it's hard to remember where I've been and where I haven't. Which makes this even more annoying for me. I am thankful that the enemies aren't as bad as they usually are. That's great. Feels so good not to have to go through this trouble. And I leveled up, awesome. And it's another downstairs, okay. More icy areas. Let me guess, enemies are harder? Armo Shadow, okay. So it's Webby one of these types of areas, huh? So they're double attacking. Okay, fine, I, I, I can dig it. I'm actually kind of liking this dungeon. It starts out easy, but it gets harder. See, that's what the other dungeons should have been. This is what a dungeon crawler is. Like, the, the dungeon gets harder and harder as you go down floors. I still have yet to see a random chest appearing, but I, 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 I can deal with this. The, the other dungeons just seemed kind of, eh, iffy. It's almost like, it, it's not like it didn't feel like a dungeon crawler, but I knew it was one. It didn't have the same quality as that one, is what I'm trying to say. Is this a healing point? Yes it is, awesome. I can use a lot more of those, let me tell you. It does, it, it does look like, as you went further on making this game, you made the areas better and better, though. The labyrinth areas notwithstanding. I really hope that you're gonna be able to help me get my RPG game up and running again because I've always wanted to make a Dragon Warrior monster style RPG game on BX. And I was doing pretty good too. People were really digging it. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a good alternative to monster breeding. 
since no one that I know on the den has knowledge enough into a scripting to make something that massive. And I, I had a couple of ideas, but I don't think I particularly liked any of them. One was actually teaching abilities to monsters through items, instead of using breeding to get the abilities. Uh, I didn't like that idea though, because it kind of takes away the fun of breeding. Oh, the Armos Knights. Alright, let's do this. Take them on one at a time. They're all guarding. Oh, it attacked twice. Awesome. interesting boss fight. It was decently challenging, didn't rely on status effects, and, well, it was just fun. I mean, that is a real boss fight. I'm proud of you, Esther. Out of all the other bosses in this game, that's my favorite. That was just incredible. If future bosses are like that, then I'm all for it. They did act kind of stupid, but when they didn't, when, when they did fight back, it was pretty powerful. Heck, one way people actually died in the fight, and if they wouldn't have let me revive him fast enough, I would have been in trouble. <laughs> It's just the reliance on status effects. I mean, I don't mind enemies using them, but there were really too much of an overabundance of them. And I think now I'm starting to enjoy myself again because the status effects have almost disappeared completely. Or if they do appear, it's not enough to really hamper the experience all that much.
Another new area. I wonder if I'm supposed to know if I get another party member. Hermit crabs, really? Oh! Back to the stats effects, it looks like. But these guys don't look all that threatening with it. Because the other guys did the entire party. So, at least with these guys, I have time to defeat them before it gets too bad. The, par paraliz the paralyzing breath? Ugh, that was horrible. Just see this early on. Is that a teleporter? Yes, it is. If if they let me teleport and then go back there, then what's the point of the end? Let me see. Yeah, what's the point? I mean, the end here is way cheaper. I, I guess maybe if you're if you don't want to come all the way back to town, it's okay. But still, that seems kind of pointless. All right, let's see. I'm pretty sure your waters are the same, but I should pick up some more potions since bosses at this point in the game are probably gonna force you to have some on hand. Yep, same stuff, okay. And, yeah, why not? Ever save. I don't remember if I did or not. Oh, by the way, when you first teleport in, your save gets disabled, and you have to enter a town and leave again for it to come back. You might want to fix that. Um, now back to the Birdsong Tower. The total absence of a plot in this game does kind of annoy me a little bit, though. Um, mainly just because... Eh, it, just, it just makes this game feel empty. Like, the fact that there's almost no dialogue at all in it whatsoever. Not that it really needs much of one, but I'd still like to know that I'm actually doing something in this game. This and... This essentially feels like a hack of an already existing game. Since it just feels so empty. Or rather, it kind of feels like it's... Uh oh. Let's see, how do I put this? It just feels like I'm in one huge side quest. Um, where... I'm supposed to be doing something, not exactly sure what it is, and it keeps going on and on. I mean, the dungeons and bosses are interesting at all, but how long can this possibly stay interesting, with no real direction? I, I guess if you're from the Fall Fantasy V crowd that believes in just, um, building up and having customization, but even that in this game is not all that good. The only customization there is, is the AVP system, and getting only one point per battle makes that to be not really all that fun. I should at least be getting two by this point, if not three. And what happens when I max out my AVP levels? What then? I probably would have liked it if maybe though like there was like an I, I of course I don't know this for sure. I'm not at the end of the game or anything. 
But I'm just going to assume that there's not any items or anything that will teach you abilities or anything like that. Nor, I don't, do I, am I, nor am I assuming that there's any, uh, items that give you special abilities, like, oh, um, like a double attack or anything like that. So, yeah. There's that to consider as well. Like I said, I don't know how long this game is. For all I know, it could be pretty short, and I could be almost done with it. Though, you did say there's about ten characters to recruit, so maybe not. Also, I think the abilities in this game could have been a little more balanced out. A lot of these abilities seem kind of useless, and I only use a couple of them fairly often. The ones I do use the most are um, Crushing Blow, um, Throw Stone if I'm abusing the glitch, none of your stuff, and I think Mist's abilities are the ones that can use the most, because there's Cure, Judgment Blade, Cleansing Strike, and Stab and Protect. That's basically, he, his stats, or rather skills, are the only ones that really get used a lot. I think you might want to tweak the other people a little bit more, because their class setup sucks. To be honest, looking at the kind of game this is, it almost sounds like it'd be better as a boss rush. This is that's honestly what this feels like to me, is there are dungeons and all that, but the dungeons aren't the very interesting part, the bosses are, and since leveling up takes forever anyway, it isn't that exciting. Why not? It makes sense to me. I mean, I don't mind boss rushes. The reason I'm enjoying it right now is because that's what it makes me feel like. Um. I will say that if I do manage to come out with that Grim Quest Monsters game, there's going to be a far more emphasis on plot than the other games were. Do though, keep in mind I haven't played Joker, so I don't know how good the plot was in that one. But I've heard it was pretty forgettable, so... Remedy was found. Okay. Well, that's something, at least. You know, Kevin's right. His, I'm typing on him to IRC while I'm recording this. He actually said this game reminds him of some of everything. Some of it is a dungeon crawler, some of it is an RPG, some of it is... Um... What? Oh. He, 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 he said it looks like that it's a little bit of everything, but he, he said it reminds him of a Jack of All Trades, but Master of None, where it has aspects from a bunch of different types of games, but it doesn't really excel at any of them. He said that not, not to sound not to sound insulting or anything, that's just the way he sees it. He said, though you have worked on this for quite a while, so I will give you credit on that. R RPG Maker VX isn't exactly the king of RPG Maker programs, personally. So the fact you're able to ever able to make this at all was incredible, considering how fast this game actually is. But he says, you do really need to go back and edit a lot of this stuff though, because from what I've seen of Tesla's videos already that he's shown me through Skype, there is a lot that needs fixing, although most of it is actually balance issues. This game feels very unfinished, like the battles are really freaking cheap, and the amount of grinding you need for this even rivals Dragon Quest levels of grinding. 
almost to the point of being ridiculous, personally. Because according to what this game is telling me, you need to at least be at level um, 20, if I'm looking at the code right here, in order to even be able to run away at the point where he's actually playing. That's a bit much. Bird song nectar. Nectar that can destroy the voice of someone who has lost it. Uh, okay. What am I supposed to use that on? Wow, useless items much. Jeez, pretty soon I'm gonna have to start an entirely new video. Because I'm at 20 minutes already. 21 minutes. Is it just me, or are these enemies being repeated? Because I haven't seen any new enemies show up for a while now. But yeah, I'm gonna start a new video.